do have a beautiful sunny day. Of course, in that beautiful sunny day, what are you going to do? Yeah, you're right. Best entertainment is a beautiful Dahikan beach here in Mali. So let's go and visit that. Let's go to the uh, coral beach, which is a rocky stone beach. Nothing much to enjoy as a beach for the swimming, but uh, for the fishing and I, I guess uh, for the diving. Guys, go there for the fishing, uh, for the spear fishing. Let's go to my beach, my favorite spot. It's kind of a little bit uh, fisherman village, but at the same time, this is a place where you have uh, most amount of the beautiful white sand, and it's kind of peaceful, quiet. And just a fisherman coming in and out of the boats. So, that's my choice. Well, and for that you can understand what's my preferences in life. That's, uh, that's the thing which I, <laughs> I like, I can see. Nothing much from uh, resorts and so on. But things like this, yeah. Feel so kind of homey and, and uh, normal and nice. Yeah, guys, delivering the ice. That means it's gonna be fish delivery soon. Mm, beautiful fisherman with a jam. <laughs> and you know, in the, one of the best beaches in the region. Well, guys, how it looks like? It looks magical, yeah. So cool. People's always so fun. Ooh, sun is so hot. Yeah, so beautiful view. It's big and hot. Very, very hot day. Happy kids. Hello guys, hello. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi. Yeah. It's an angle for the fish. Nobody in the beach. So we put a hot beach in water. Like here, a little bit cold. See just one person. In a day like this, yeah, the Hikan looks the best. The colors, guys, come on. This blue green water, milky, beautiful. Well, that's gonna be my shady place. Uh, a little bit shade. Ooh, it's damn hot. This, this pitch. Gonna save me. Whew. Yeah. 
I guess if you're gonna spend maybe 20 minutes in direct sun, wow, you're gonna get sunburn. Yeah. <laughs> Kiddos, yeah, having fun. Okay, let's enjoy this tranquility and beauty. Yeah. <laughs> mm, the colors, guys, come on. Well, I don't know the people who will say that that's nothing. Well, guys, I guess this is one of the best things that you can have in life. Yeah, visually pleasing. Also very, um, it feels very good. It feels kind of very satisfying. But check this small resort. Looks very peaceful. Grilling area. Very very peaceful place. See the very big very big distance between the cottages. But in general, yeah, is it good to spend the time in the cottage like this? Well yeah, it's good with this beautiful view. Nothing much to say. But the thing is we can't all fit on this small spot and for this reason I guess the uh, idea that you leave the place like this for the public is a good idea actually the only one smart idea otherwise it's gonna be um, yeah too crowdy too buzzy with unnecessary buildings it doesn't, it doesn't serve the purpose uh, to serve the society for one small business but as always in this life is not the thing is not about your business uh, the thing is about all of us all of the people who live in this area and who come over to enjoy this place so it should be yeah public public easy access place so then uh, people who live in this area are gonna be happy yeah now it's so smart to make uh, everything in the smartest possible way uh, which serves the majority of the people and uh, all the silly and opportunistic uh, decisions leads to disaster as always in life yeah smartness trumps everything And also for the international tourists, if it's gonna be too cramped, well, there's a plenty of beautiful islands. 7,000 islands here, 17,000 Indonesia. Countless thousands and thousands of islands. You can go in so many places in, uh, in Asia, Caribbean, around Africa, so many places you can visit. So it should be the reason why should you choose this place, why you should stay here. And as for me, I enjoy for the moment this place all because of uh, quietness, tranquility. This place is so quiet and naturally so gifted. So beautiful bay. Check this beauty. The colors, the nature, the bird trails, the view on the hill. Such a good combination. Yeah, delivers the most that you can expect from the uh, tropical environment. So, yeah, definitely Mati is a uh, very very high high grade priority for me. I don't see many flaws. Typically when I travel I see the flaws and uh, of course I'm honest and I, I say about that. I don't uh, exaggerate. I always keep myself reserved. But if I see something is not very good, and mainly it's the pollution, which disturbs not only me, but I guess each and other human being. That's the thing. Uh, 
if the summer resort is not that well developed well that's not important for me each resort could be one star or five star it's not even uh, in my consideration but the uh, nature in general environment if it's polluted yeah it's, it's bad but here environment looks clean like I don't see the flaws no smells no no rubbish well of course here and there it's Yeah, but in general, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Very satisfying feeling. Each time when I come in the beach, I feel uh, content. You have a full bouquet of positive emotions. Yeah. But also, even in, uh, in the beaches like in Dubai, there's so many developed beaches like La Mer and so many other smaller beaches. Well, yeah, also same feeling. It's coming, nice, organized. But this gives you the feeling of the wildness, like wild open ocean. And uh, not that big industrialization around, just a small few villages. Yeah, it feels very natural, which I appreciate the most in life. Beautiful clean nature, yeah. Okay guys, time for the swim. I'm gonna go enjoy this beautiful blue green water. spend the day here in Dahikan beach yeah spend one hour approximately half hour in the sun and half hour swimming and uh, just chilling in the shadow yeah immense power immense value I guess uh, anyone who will be uh, coming to uh, Dahikan beach in good weather in a sunny day like this I'm gonna be happy gonna be uh, enjoying the place uh, 
As for the view, cleanness. Today, silence, peace, quietness. This is very important. If you're gonna look on the best resorts, and the highest graded uh, places for relax, they're always gonna be quiet, isolated. Even in a place like Bali, which is well, one of, one of my favorite ones, and not only mine, it's like many, many, I guess, millions of people like the Bali and love the Bali. Like, best place is gonna be always remote, some remote cliffside or somewhere deep in jungles. So yeah, the quietness is a sign of the quality. Well, beautiful spend a day. Now I'm gonna go and explore the beach all the way there, this direction. And I'm gonna go around uh, uh, this half island and uh, yeah, just to know the better how it's looked like in other places. As beautiful that he can is, uh, the life is about the movement. Life, life by itself is a movement. So this is how we define the living, yeah, living substance in a general way, yeah. But uh, yeah, to go around and see the places, that's also in German, that's part of uh, entertainment. So I wanna see the other resorts and other beaches. I guess it's gonna be difficult to beat this one. And this is one of the most famous ones. So there's no nothing no nothing which can surprise me but I saw already on that side there's so many small beaches which is a little bit smaller and not that broad like this one and uh, not that well managed coconuts and everything fall down but still looks nice uh, if you if you for example uh, haven't been able to see this one you're gonna see the ghost one they will look for your okay but of course in always in life after something uh, exceptionally good, you oh, it's very difficult to settle down for something less and say, oh, well, it's okay. This one is okay. Those ones are good. As always, uh, I get this expression which I, I had with one uh, uh, veggie vendor in the market, like, all carrots are the same. Well, yeah, they are the same, but some are better. <laughs> And from all pile of the carrots, you can find few which are going to be best. So that also applies for nearly anything you find. Definitely for the beaches, definitely for the places which you um, spend your time in, which is uh, entertainment places. So how much entertainment you will be able to get here. And for me, that's a nearly pinnacle, yeah, very high grade stuff. When I look on this vastness, so beautiful coastline, beautiful hillside. Well, yeah, everything kind of ticks in the boxes. Everything is great. Well, one month here, we'll see. Maybe I will find something which isn't uh, so so kind of uh, good. But not that's not my mission. My mission is to find the best place and uh, rate them and uh, put them on a high grade list and understand what kind of value place has and can deliver and uh, one big part of this is of course access to the healthy foods access to the healthy foods beautiful beach beautiful uh, nature well then I can say the, the place is uh, worth to visit uh, and, and, and spend a time well, okay let's go to the other place Nothing left. Always when you leave the beach, double check everything. Your keys, your small things, is everything with you? Yeah. Kind of uh, smart and peaceful attitude to the life always delivers you the best results. Nothing uh, like crazy jumping and crazy. Uh, Un unthoughtful things will deliver you something valuable. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, the sand is so pleasant to walk here. Uh, feels so cozy and good. Yeah. Well, yeah, I like that Hikan. I like a lot. Fresh breeze. Real deal, real thing. Mm -hmm. And the quietness. The place where you can uh, where you can hear like a, a Berta singing. How valuable is that? Hmm? I guess very valuable. Listen this one. Beautiful. That reminds me Dubai. Dubai is of course a very industrialized place, but still you can have a bird trails also in places. And uh, Europe in the springtime, always bird trails. Okay, see you beautiful beach, probably tomorrow. That's the beauty. Five minutes and I'm here. Hello, hello, hello. Hello guys. How is it going? Is it going good? Yeah? Yeah. What about fish? Do you sell fish today? Fish? Fish. fish. No fish now? Mm -hmm. Well, okay, okay, I see there's so many people preparing the boats. Maybe tomorrow? Tomorrow, pa. Which time? Mm. Uh, two. Two in the morning or in a, in a, in a day? In a day. In a day, yeah. Oh. Tapos, tomorrow in the eight. Eight in the morning. Eight in the morning, oh. yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, okay. Okay, salamat, salamat. Yeah, it's a little bit here and there. Depends on the the luck and of course the schedule on the fisherman go for the fishing. Oh yeah, preparation, the boxes, ice. This is an ice house as I saw. Well, of course, if you have uh, some local fisherman, he can give you the call when there's something good to sell. It's always manageable.
India, some 3-4 kilometers from the Hikan. You see also white sand. But yeah, no any more glory. <laughs> yeah, just a pure pure nature. And that's how it looks like here. Well, yeah, it's also a pleasant place to stay. Well, you have a clean nature, everything is okay. Like, doesn't matter. You have your clean water. Yeah, beautiful environment. Of course, for the beach, you want to have a white sand. This you see the place of the Hikan. And uh, one small stretch and all the way there. It's dark sand and also same like here. And yeah. See the nature have it tricks in some places and makes something magical magically beautiful and it's always when you see uh, such a beauty like in the Higan and you go a few miles in the, in the side and uh, sometimes mismanaged and you see this kind of uh, disbalance which is like um, yeah well understandable the amount of money but that could be also a very nice place if it's clean up organized yeah but it is what it is takes years and many many billions to make infrastructure decent as you see here I guess are building some some resort you see this cleaned up looks good and then you have yeah a wild one stretch management yeah management of the things Attitude, money, of course, also. But okay, well, let's continue exploring this place. Yeah. Now I remember uh, Nusa Penida. Well, there's so many similar places and uh, each and other island have its uh, sandy beautiful side and other sides could be rocky and mangrovey always like that
but such a humongous open space. Yeah. Well, Bob Bone. You can see. That's beautiful Dahikan. Here's a rocky place. And I was also here, you saw in the drone shots before. Dark sand beach. Here's a corals. Well, and after Dahikan, it's uh, many, many smaller beaches. But in general, well, decent, nice places. And now we uh, here we're gonna explore this side as long as the road is going. Yeah, this stretch, and then we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over here, and then we're gonna go back this side to the Hikan. So then we're gonna know what's happened here, how it looks like. And it's look like this. Yeah, all the way. Well, as for me, yeah, it's still beautiful. I like that. I like wild nature in general. Like I told you a million times, wild nature is number one for me. Only if it's well managed. If it's trashed, so nobody likes that. That's of, of course. But uh, <laughs> this side, yeah, it's, I wouldn't say it's well managed, yeah, but it's kind of more or less, you can have a good time here also. Being close to the nature, yeah. You see that people are walking, trying to pick up something, some sea creatures. Of course, if you want to have a high grade place, you go for the Hikan. That's going to be highest grade place. Yeah. But that's also okay. to get the coconuts out from this one. Very tall trees here. Well. Well, this is how it looks like. Should be right in ocean already. <laughs> See here. That's the end of the road here. Nothing much. 
but I hear the sound of the ocean, yeah, it's close. Let me check. But then there is no road until here. See, maybe there's some small trail. Maybe there's a mountain, a hillside. Maybe it's not accessible. Okay, let's go. Let's go down, steep. like totally wild place but there is some activity like you see the coconuts in the boat but let me see how the coastline look like rocky one yeah dramatic hill But yeah, was a beautiful ocean. No difficult access. I see the boats. Difficult to say they are washed out. Oh no, there's a road, yeah. Oh, there's uh, some trail that goes down. Okay, we can check. That's so high. I don't have with me the rope, no nothing. So typically, I have the oh this one maybe. It's a little too high. We need to have a stick. There's a stick. Okay, we're gonna see. First, we're gonna check this fisherman bay. Yeah, looks good. Beautiful one. Places like this, yeah. isolated, beautiful spot, clean nature, nothing else. That's the main ingredient, actually. The main ingredient for uh, yeah, beautiful spend the time, beautiful nature, wild one. Good. Very positive impressions. 
And I see the bolts are here. Uh, they're on the rack, so that's me. The fisherman take care of that. See one bolt, two, three. Beautiful small place. Okay, let's go up. Well, I want to have some coconuts. Maybe this one. Kind of still high. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you need to have a stick and so on. It's take time. There's a stick actually. Yeah, I may try. I'll see. Very good, mission complete. Well guys, here we have two beautiful coconuts, as wild as could be. Yeah, very good, young one. Mm. Beautiful coconut in the wild jungles. Mm. Very good. Best thing in the jungles. Well, no meat inside, very young one. Check this place. Interesting what kind of purpose is this house?
Yeah, if you should mad stuff. Yeah, the west. Yeah. There's many places around the world uh, same like this. Even uh, for the fishing or maybe somewhere in that far away in the woods. There's some shed like for the common use. For the traveler, stop over. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Getting getting late. in nature well we're gonna manage maybe yeah maybe two maybe this one just screw it down beauty well guys let's enjoy this beauty so you can see what opened the coconut well if it's very young like this one yeah you open all the it's gonna go off as a cork. Yeah, you see, with the pressure, it's very easy to open. One of the healthiest uh, coconuts, young coconut, soury, not that much sugars, good electrolytes. That's it, guys. That's the jungle beauty. Very good. Let's open this one. That looks a little bit weird, you see. Pear shape. Well, first we're gonna drink the juice and then we're gonna get the meat. You see, that's the meat. This is kind of more or less mature coconut. Meat is a little bit thicker. Tastes very good. More mature coconut, it tastes always sweeter. Also about the coconut juice, if it's get on a white t-shirt, uh, from the cotton, it's gonna stain, gonna, gonna be brown stains. Yeah, this is a begin to fermentation, but still sweet and beautiful taste. Well guys, here we have, yeah, beautiful coconut meat. Mm. <laughs> well, beautiful nature, beautiful clean coconut. Oh, you see the force? Hello! Getting late, how much is time now? 5.20, like 40 minutes left. Well, yeah. I guess the other side of the island we can leave for another day. Hello! This, this hill, 
hillside. So that means maybe there's no road. Got a high hill. Yeah. But that's the distance, it's around uh, yeah, two kilometers from here to here. So two kilometers without a road in jungle wood. Well, it could be, could be something, but you need to have a time, and I don't have a time for today. It's getting late, and the sunset is always like six o'clock. Doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> Sun had its uh, own schedule. Yeah. Let's go back then, and. Uh, other side of the island we can explore uh, other, another day. Subside, warm breeze, quietness. See the, all the daily buzz is already done. Sunset is uh, this direction. is setting other side of the hill. Check this view. So many plants. After this uh, city sophistication, you see the very simple housing, one bulb, bamboo house. It's difficult to imagine how people are uh, getting content Things. Yeah. Totally different lifestyle. But of course, it's not a better or worse, it's just a different. Each time when you see the very simple living, it's just a simple living. There's also happiness in there. And, uh, this could be wrong to say, good or bad. This could be right to say, more or less uh, industrialized. the quality that depends on personality well. <laughs> yeah you see modern technologies Well, I see the moon. Yeah. Well, here I'm gonna end up today's trip from Dakihan Beach all the way to the end of the road in this side of the island. Well, tomorrow other side, but. As for today, we are done. I'm gonna fly a little bit droney, and then that's it. I'm gonna be 
I'm going back home.
vlog, good evening, and it's, yeah, sunset, getting dark. In Europe it's uh, four seasons and it's uh, very different. In the winter time it could be dark around five o'clock. In the summer time it sometimes never gets even uh, totally dark. Sunset maybe around 10, 11. And then, uh, yeah, very bright nights. But here is very, very same. Everything is, uh, yeah, same timing for the sunset, temperature, very constant. Checking this side and get in the jungles. Let's get late. So tomorrow we're gonna explore that side. 